Hey Royal Family, my name is Rowanna Mudley and this is The Front Row. Welcome to your Thursday edition of Beauty with myself. This is just a very berry look that I put together with a black and green sari and I thought of just giving it a little twist with a side up style with simple earrings, simple bangles and we're good to go. If you want to know how I got this look then you know what to do. This is just heaven. I got this from Kiki Beauty and it's called the Rose Wax Lip Balm and it is just to die. It moisturizes my lips. I usually put it on just before I'm about to put on my makeup and it keeps my lips supple and it doesn't let it get dry because it can get dry while I'm applying makeup and all of that. So it really is such a beauty. I love it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I have already done my eyebrows and as usual it's just easier to do my eyebrows and then I put concealer on my eyes and now all I have to do is set my my lids. I absolutely love this palette. It's got beautiful golden colors. It's perfect for my olive type of skin and it just has it's it it just accentuates my eyes so well and I really really like this palette. This is from my favorite NYX Cosmetics and it is the rustic antique palette i want to show you how you can use one eye color on your entire lid and make it work so i'm just going to use this color right here and i'm going to show you how i just need one eyeshadow because sometimes it can be so complicated to have so many different colors and it can be quite overwhelming so i found a way to just use one eye shadow to make your eye seem fuller and it also kind of looks like you've done a lot with your eye so I'm gonna take that color dust some off and I'm going to just place it at this point of my eye because that's where I want most of the color to be concentrated also will use only one brush to do this because so it will make life easier because the last thing you want is to be using a whole lot of different brushes and you don't know which brush is for which so all I'm doing is I'm just pushing that product in right here at the top as it goes into the slightly higher than the socket and I'm going to continue doing that until I get to the middle of my eye And this is also setting my concealer that I just applied on my eye. And now I'm going to do a light tap here at, in this half, but not, you'll see it's not as dark as this side. And I'm going to use a swishing motion just on this side. So it's lighter. Do you see that? Now let's do the same on the other eye. And now I'm going to take a baby wipe and I'm going to wipe out the excess under my eye. Woo! So I finally got my hands on the new Skin Instant Pore Eraser by Maybelline and I'm so excited to try this out because I've got some open pores here. This is supposed to make pores appear instantly erased for smoother looking skin. So that is quite exciting. I'm going to put majority of it here where I want it to make my pores disappear. It feels really nice and glidey. As you can see, my skin has some discoloration around my mouth 
and under my eye area so I want to do some color correcting so I'm going to use this LA Girl Pro concealer I'm going to use my fingers because I don't need to put too much of it Next, it's time to put on some foundation. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the color 250. After watching so many YouTube videos, a lot of people have been raving about these concealers and I needed to get my hands on it. So I got, I bought them online, so it was very difficult to test. And online, it looked like it would be my color. So I got like the light honey. And this is a warm olive. And I thought this would be my exact skin tone. Um, but I'm not sure now. Maybe I should use it as a contour stick. Okay. Give me something, baby. I'm gonna to have to use this to brighten under my eye okay here goes nothing it feels nice and soft What I like about how it feels is that it doesn't feel heavy, it smells okay. It seems like it has a water base. I just closed that window that was open behind me because the light was reflecting on the back and the makeup wasn't really looking that great so I apologize for that but now at least we can see what we're doing. This Maybelline concealer is really good. Really really good. I like what I'm seeing. So let me use my LA Pro powder high definition setting powder to set all this work that I've done. Okay, time to do the bottom of my eyes. The other new baby I got was this colossal waterproof mascara by Maybelline. And this again has gotten really nice reviews. Look at this brush, it is very nice and thick it is meant to give me instant big volume no clumps on my 
eyelashes so let us see this is good mascara look at that now I'm going to set my contour with the stay matte not flat in color cocoa and I'm just going to take a little bit because I don't really need too much Next I'm going to use my Sweet Cheeks palette. I'm going to take this berry here and sweep it across my face. my favorite love you so much show highlighter and I'm gonna use the pinky highlighter now we haven't done anything in the corners of my eyes so I'm gonna take that same highlighter and place it in the corner mm, that looks amazing Ooh. yes I'm going to take the soft contouring stick by essence and line I like to put the liner all over my lips because it makes my my lipstick last longer. For setting spray, I'm going to use my Makeup Ready Rose Dew by Kiki Cosmetics. Well, this is the look and if you enjoyed this tutorial, then please give this video a thumbs up and also comment and let me know what you think. Also, let me know what other looks you'd like to see and subscribe to my channel because it does help me tremendously. Thank you so much for choosing the front row and I'll see you on my next video. Keep it royal.